Isaiah 1.18 says, Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. I've done a devotion on that particular verse before, but usually it's right around December or January that I do it. Today it's April, and as you can tell, it's snowing. And so I think the Lord wants us to remember that even though we have many, many sins, he washes them clean so that we are as white as snow, sin-free, made that way by the blood of Jesus Christ. And that's especially important to remember this day, which is the beginning of Holy Week. Yes, it's April, but God has sent snow at the beginning of Holy Week to remind us that Jesus' blood shed on the cross forgives all our sins. Just recently, Pastor Kinney, senior pastor at St. Matthew, shared a message called A New Beginning. And this is a way to remember that. We are getting a new beginning. We're going to get spring all over again, even though we had one day of winter again this spring. And when Easter rolls around in just a couple of days, you have the opportunity of a new beginning. Maybe you haven't been to worship in a long time. Maybe it's been since last Christmas or last Easter. That's okay. God has given you a new beginning to worship your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who rose from the dead on Easter after dying on Good Friday, shedding his red crimson blood to make our sins as white as snow. That is, taking them away and making us clean once again. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for this brief look at winter once again. With the snow, it reminds us that we are made clean by the blood of Jesus. As we anticipate remembering that wonderful event on Good Friday, the death of Jesus for our sins, and his glorious resurrection from the dead on Easter Sunday, bring us to your house to worship. No judgment, no snide comments, just joy to worship Jesus together as family. In Jesus' name, amen. Please join us for the special worship services this week at St. Matthew. It'll be Thursday, that's Holy Thursday or Monday Thursday at 7 p.m. Good Friday, that will be at noon and 7 p.m. with the choir from St. Paul, Minnesota coming to enhance our worship. Holy Saturday, we'll have the great vigil of Easter to begin our Easter celebration at 5.30 and then Easter Sunday at 6 a.m. for the sunrise service because Jesus rose from the dead at sunrise. And then 8 o'clock for our festival service with our organ and our brass choir and all kinds of things. And then our contemporary Easter service at 1045, worshiping our Lord and Savior Jesus for dying and rising again to save us, to make our sins, though they be like scarlet, white as snow. God's richest blessings to you and thanks for joining in this devotional moment.